Hello engineers, my name is Splair Kesser, and today I've got for you a simple tunnel boring machine. Now tunnel boring machines are nothing new in space engineers. They've been around for years, they've taken on many shapes and forms. A lot of them have some really cool stuff. This one is really just a bare bones proof of concept. The only thing that's really different about it is its simplicity and the fact that it's using my somewhat unique landing gear and monorail system that was showcased in a few of my other videos. So again the only thing that is going to propel this is atmospheric thrusters and it's going to just slide along these landing gear on this single rail. Let's take a quick look at its design and then we'll put it to use. Here we've got the drill head. Nothing too unexpected there. The drill head feeds this basic refinery the iron ingots from that refinery feed this assembler. The assembler is set to repeat mode with steel plates, just cranking out an infinite number of steel plates. Those steel plates go into the welders, which weld the rail as it goes. It is attached to this projector that has that same blueprint of a rail going all the way through this landmass. That rail is about six kilometers long on its default blueprint, although, of course, you can make a longer blueprint should you need it. So this whole system comes as one unit. You're going to just simply build a pedestal and you place the unit on top of that. And in order to get started, we'll be deleting this block right here. A few other notes about the design. It's got a huge waste disposal system on the back here with all these connectors. This may be a bit overkill, but this is really just a proof of concept. So it's not in any kind of finished, tweaked form. It's not really all that balanced. This is just to get the do job done and show that it works. Now I have this remote control block and normally I was going to just have a GPS point at the end of the track that that remote control flies to and so this thing operates automatically based on that. That would also allow us to regulate its speed and set it to a nice slow speed that's perfect for mining. Unfortunately I'm having a weird bug that causes a lot of unexpected results when I turn on autopilot with this thing and one of those results is the thrusters completely stop working and responding to any input whether or not you turn them on and off or anything they just stop working until you reload the game. So I will showcase that bug in a different video. However to get around that I've simply got a system where I just set the thruster override up which makes this a very clunky ratchet clangy system but it certainly still works. So now that we've got it placed let's just uh, take it out for a spin. We're gonna get into this cockpit. We are going to turn the drill head on. We're going to slowly and carefully keeping an eye on that welding we're going to maneuver it into position. Now, generally speaking, when you start mining a chunk of voxels, you're going to want to mine very slowly at first until you've established a consistent borehole. Now, we're going to meet up with the rock at kind of an angle here, as you can see. It looks like my bottom right corner is going to touch the rock first, whereas the top left corner is still out in the air. So, until all of those drills are connected, it's really just best practice to go nice and slow until you've got your hole set. So we'll just keep doing that until we've got our hole set. And once that is ready, we will be turning on the thruster override, which I'm sorry to say is the only real way to make this thing work automatically at this time due to the aforementioned remote control bug. An alternate way to use this is to pack it full of steel plates. You could add a whole bunch of cargo and have that already full of pre-made steel plates. And then you could use drill tools, I'm sorry, block tools, to use the drills with your mouse and right click, which would make this a lot faster. It will still weld and keep up with it, and it will just be a lot faster and even bigger tunnel but that requires pre-made steel plates. It will not be mining any material and not creating any steel plates on its own. So that's just a different way to use it. But for now, this is the old fashioned turning the stone into steel plates method. So now that we've got our whole set, we're going to step up the thruster override until we see this thing start to move. And that's about good enough right there. 
Now, as it gets heavier, it's going to have a harder time keeping up the speed, so we might as well just set this all the way up to maximum there. Obviously, this is not ideal for an auto miner, but it works. And as you can see, this bad boy will just slowly but surely mine its way through this rock face and leave behind a nice monorail for us to use with some other kind of technology, be it wheels or one of my trams, something like that. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.